Researchers at Dublin City University have found that shop bought and school lunches eaten by secondary school students were of a lower nutritional value than packed lunches from home. The study found that lunches provided by schools or purchased in outlets near schools contained higher levels of calories, added sugar and fat. Teenagers were more likely to consume processed meats, chips and sugary drinks from lunches sourced at school and local shops. In contrast, homemade lunches were more likely to contain wholemeal breads, cheeses, red meat and fruit. However, the average school day lunch, irrespective of source, was low in fibre, vitamins and minerals and high in salt. When teenagers regularly eat high calorie, high fat, high sugar foods and drinks like sweets, chocolate, highly processed savoury foods and sugary drinks, it is a concern because we know that they contribute to obesity. When these foods are eaten often, it also means that we don't get enough important vitamins and minerals for a healthy body. The clear message emerging from this research is that schools can do much better in terms of the food they supply to children at break time. The Department of Education, school principals and parents should put pressure on catering companies to ensure that their profit margins are not prioritised over children's health. We think that this research is an accurate portrayal of the eating habits of people our age at schools. Teenagers generally want food that is convenient and fast at lunch times and, and it generally tends to be the unhealthy option. I feel like schools need to decrease the price of healthier options and increase the price of unhealthy options. Also, students would be more likely to make the healthier choice if there were more and nicer, healthier options.